right. Okay. So this is our first uh, virtual meeting um, where we're going to be uh, discussing thought experiments. Um, so could I, everyone just introduce themselves and, I don't know, say what you did today or what you're drinking. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll go for it. Greg Clifford, a musician and multimedia artist. Um, what am I drinking? Just sparkling water because I've been drinking too much the last few nights, so I'm trying to behave myself a little bit. And uh, nice, yeah. nice. cool. Who's next? Emma. Yeah. Well, uh, my name is Emma O'Brien. I have held a Pornhub Premium account for the past three years, and I'm drinking Molson Canadian. Ooh. All the good stuff. Bit of scald you could get. Um, my name's Jeff Finan. I'm a poet, I suppose, not a multimedia artist. I'm drinking this stuff because uh, it's out of date and it's only one euro a can down the local offer. Nice. Great. Yeah. And so I'm Rachel. Uh, I'm the host of the meeting today and I'm drinking a nice big glass of red wine in a skull glass, no less. So today's thought experiment. Um, so I guess, first of all, I have to ask you all, if you think you are more of a rational person or an emotional person? Rational, without I hands, without fucking, I, I am about logic and rationale and that. You are in your hole about logic. You are the most fucking emotional person on here. Not at all. You are, you're 100% emotional. Also Greg, the fact you that you're a writer, the fact that you're a writer, then you, you're going to naturally gravitate a little bit more to the irrational, to the emotional. We'll let the we'll let the viewers decide, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I mean, obviously I flirt with both things. Like when I'm trying to do my admin kind of work and just organise stuff, obviously that's highly rational. But uh, but I think I'd be more in the emotional category because of music and response to art rather than the scientific or mathematical approach. So, like, yeah. if you had to say a percentage wise like I, I like to think I'm pretty rational but I think when it comes down to it like faced with a difficult decision I'm probably more emotional than I would like to think so know, like if you, yeah. if you had to give it like a percentage well, would... the thing is, I actually sat a, a logic exam when I was studying philosophy I would fail that degree. so badly I actually got 99% in that okay. I, I don't know how I lost the 1% I resent that a little bit but uh <laughs> <laughs> no, can anyone be a hundred percent rational though can they <laughs> no it was all ones and zeros it was logic um, but anyway so i don't know how to answer that so it would be 69 69 percent rational 39 percent emotions <laughs> yeah 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 and uh, 31 31 percent emotions 31 yeah, and then eight Sixty-nine percent rational. That just goes to that just goes to disprove that that you're anyway at all rational. No, it's totally one. I get mixed up. Sorry. <laughs> right, Jeff. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I like I am rational at times, but I suppose I'm a lot more emotional than I would. Yeah, I re really. I'd be more emotional than, than rational. I don't know what percentage. Like seventy-five, twenty-five. Hmm. Simple maths there, rather than Emmett's approach. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably should be no maths either. Okay, so the question today is, right, so we're assuming that you're you're all pretty rational people. Um and you are in a Big situation <laughs> you have a you have a friend, well you have at least three anyway, <laughs> and um they ring you one day or they like contact you somehow and they convince you that you have to explode a bomb in a public place. They say there's no time to explain and that it's really important that you do it. They're a really intelligent person and you would trust this person generally. What do you do? Tell them to fuck off. <laughs> how, how, how long? How oh, long God, you... Hold on, hold on, hold on. If someone calls you up on the phone, if, if, if someone calls me up on the phone and was like, hey, I have no time to explain this. The bomb down in the oil accent that go blow it up. I'm real smart though. Well, then be smart enough to blow it up yourself. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> also, the thing oh, is, if somebody, rang me, right, if somebody rang me on my phone, anyone that knows me, they know that I'm not going to answer my phone. <laughs> 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 I don't answer unsolicited phone calls, you know. 
it's your so, mate. It's your mate that you really trust. That like. I know. Mate, I always let like that calls ring out. <laughs> Fair enough. Right. So oh, right yeah, with the equation. Richard, Jenny, how long do we have? How long do we have? Like you, to you have no out? time. Yeah. There, it's a very little time. You've only got a, like an hour or two. You have to. You have to do this. It's not bad now. In two hours, you could learn a lot. Even in twenty minutes, hours. you could learn. Should I do it or not? This is Greg's rational part of his brain kicking in here. Two hours. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose, um, where do we, uh, is it definitely the Ilex Centre that he's blowing up? Let's say it's the Ilex Centre, go on. It's yeah. a bit of a shithole, like nobody's really going to miss it. Yeah, yeah. I imagine it was the Crumlin Shopping Centre. <laughs> that's it, that's, that's it. Right. Great car park all the same. Oh, d- bring what? <laughs> it's a great car park. It's a great car park. That's, an, yeah. that's, that's such a ridiculous statement to make. What about the, there's, a, there's a library in the OILAC and you one that's, that does the sweet shop downstairs and all because it's done stars. There is, a, li- there is a library. I wouldn't want to blow up the library. No. <laughs> yeah. What could it be? Could it be like, you know that film Via Shore Vendetta? Is it like we need to make a big stand against uh, Fianna well, Gael or something like that? Could that be you, it? You don't know. You don't know, but like you're... <laughs> you're <laughs> you know, it's a I mean, it's very like what right? we're talking about, isn't it? Huh? It's very IRA, you know, bombs and shit like that. I think I'd bottle it. No, well, see, here's the thing, right? Everyone will be talking about, like, this big, mad political stance uh, down with Fine Gael or whatever. But, like, because I forget what mates I have. Like, someone will call me up on a phone and be like, all right, it's a uh, demo from the uh, Come on, we've blown this thing. It's not going to work. I, like, the hell is blowing up and how is blowing up the other going to help Finna fuck uh, going to go against Finna Gale? This is a this is a preposterous thing to be talking about. This is just ridiculous. I'm just trying to work out what it could be. What is the motive for this bomb anyway? That guy that just wants to blow up a bleeding bomb. I mean, then he should be in a straight jacket. Well, it's your friend that you really trust. It's not one of your dodgy mates, Emma. It's one yeah. of your good ones, like me. We're basically Jeff. talking about Jeff here now. Jeff is asking us. He's requesting. He's pleading with us. Please blow it up. Yeah, I mean, you have to think about it. At least you have to consider what it could be. No, you're yeah. on your own. If yeah. I rang you, Emmett, and I was like, look, Emmett, we've been mates for ages. I've done loads of stuff for you. Now it's your time to do something for me. No questions asked. Just hit this bomb, blow it up. I don't think it's for a good reason. <laughs> and Jeff, you, you, you know, how do you know you don't like blowing stuff up? It's kind of like that spaghetti analogy, isn't it? No, 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 you're not going to, no, hold on, right, you're not going to bring that into it, you're not going to, yeah, right, you, you can't, that's a stupid idea, right, no, no one's even going to notice it, the people who are listen, listening to this aren't going to know what that means, it's ridiculous, it's preposterous, and if Jeff called me up and said, oh, I want you to blow this up and everything I've done for you, I'd say, you probably gave me a fiver for a point the other time, that doesn't equate to blowing something up, like, you were talking about your mate asking you to do something, do something with like blow up something, in response to everything that they've done for you, like what? Like buy a point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, so you were saying, so you were saying that if I asked you to, to blow up something, that you would be like, "Now nah, look, mate, you probably gave me for a fiver for a point from now on." No, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. Like no, that's not what I'm saying at all. Right. So let me just let me just roleplay with you for a second, Jeff. Right. Let me just ask you. Right. So imagine I'm on the phone to you right now, and I, and and you say to me. And you said to me, oh, look, I've done a lot of stuff for you, so now you need to help me out and blow up this thing, right? And then I turn yeah. around to you and say, but what have you done for me that would equate to blowing up a bomb? You don't have time for this, Emmett. You don't, he doesn't have time to discuss it. He no, because he's just to, making false equivalency. You have to trust me. You have to blow up this bomb. Uh-huh. No, it doesn't work like that. Doesn't because he's going to say something along the lines of, oh, I'm not doing something for you, so now you have to blow up a bomb. Whereas That's in reality, what it, you have to that's probably blow it. That's not what he said. He said was. And and you're you're equating two things that just don't make sense. Someone doing something with friendship and then blowing something up. It's the left and right arse cheek are two completely different arses. It just doesn't equate. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not blowing up an for Jeff. Yeah, no, you're probably right, Emma. You know, you're probably right. We probably shouldn't yeah. detonate a bomb. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. that's a convincing case for not blowing up the eye like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're probably getting a fire for a point, but I'm not going to blow up the oil like for you. Yeah, exactly. I'm not doing it. It's ridiculous. If it was something like... It needs to be something that no one ever needs. Do you know what oh. I mean? Like, Palace Stadium or something like that. If someone... I fucking... Ah. <laughs> 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 but, I'm not yeah. doing it like 
Yeah. It doesn't matter if you have a reason or not to do it. Yeah, you're blowing something up, obviously. But like what, under what, like what reasons would convince you to detonate a bomb in a public place? Nothing, because I'm not a bleeding murderer. So you wouldn't well, have... you, you weren't going to murder anybody. What about if you knew that you weren't going to murder anybody? You're probably going to inconvenience someone along the line. What? You're probably going to inconvenience someone along the line. Yeah, but inconvenience and then like killing is two different things. To so say that you were like, right, here's a bomb. Detonate it, blow it up. Like Nelson's pillar. Would you have blown up Nelson's pillar? No. Why not? Wait, where, what's Nelson's pillar? <laughs> Do you remember, it used what to be where the that? spire was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we don't know the names and all. No, I wouldn't do that. No, why would you do that? Would well, you blow anything up for anything? Well, look, man, look, if me had to walk in the city council and was cut back a few hours, I'd do it then. <laughs> what if he, what if he <laughs> was sacked on the job in the ILAC? <laughs> no, I'm not. I wouldn't. I would never blow something up to destruct anything, but I'd blow it up to, to, to uh, help people out. I don't know. There's, there's inconsistencies. I bet you we could persuade you. Mm. Yeah, I think we could. Go on, try. Um, I don't know. What if I said, you do for a bit of special K. What if I said, and what if I said, here's a bomb, right? Go and blow that yoke up. And if you don't do it, I'm going to blow up the tree arena with everybody in it. So you can blow up something that has nobody in it. That's, or, a different, that's a different question, though. This is just somebody, somebody that you, the host there, Jeff. someone that you trust, someone that is highly intelligent that you would generally consider an, another rational being has called you and asked you to do this thing, and then like there's no time to explain. Yeah, but if someone's mad intelligent, why aren't they? How can they not blow up a bomb? But they can't it's do it. They can't do it. Well, how does it get there then? I don't know. Not important. Something spoofy about that. They're trying to set yeah. me up. He's trying to set me up. Someone's <laughs> <laughs> trying to do me here. Something spoofy about it. Nah, I'm not into that. I'm not into that. I think that. I think that's something. I just think that's an attention seeker. <laughs> attention seeker. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's like someone going into a high school and blowing it up kind of job, isn't it? Emmett, you know what? You convinced me, Emmett. Let's not blow up the oil. Like. No, we're not yeah. blowing up. And, and, and like, can I just say, like, rest in peace to everyone in Columbine and all that. Because he's talking about skill shootings and all that. Like, rest in peace to everyone who died in the skill shootings and all that. Like, that's mad. But, like, you know he's got blowing stuff up. No, you mm. don't. You know, you never have to. Jesus Christ. Rachel, show another, show another so topic say, out there before we sing. So say someone that you trust rings you, and it's not about a bomb, but they're like, you have to do this thing. Like, stay in your house, because there's a virus outside. <laughs> oh, well, do you know what? It's a difficult one, because I'm kind of recalcitrant by nature. Do you like that, Jeff? Well, I love um, it. Word of the day so far. That's a great word. But, um, <laughs> at the same time, like, I don't mind staying at home, obviously, now, because when you think about people who are actually on the front line and, and medics and people who are actually suffering and shit like that, it's not even because it's a call to, to respond to the government. It's just a call, like, for, to do what's best for humanity and all that. So, wait, what was the question again? So, you're saying, is it not kind of a similar thing that somebody that you trust is telling you or giving you information and asking you to act and that you are trusting that that information is correct? Mm, you're putting a lot of faith in well that's true yeah we're, I mean we're always kind of putting our faith in in myths and stuff like that you know just are we like, just talking about bombs are you just saying say somebody called and it, and it wasn't a bomb say they were like um, right um, I needed to do this like you have to like I've got a hangover I'm dying for a snack box <laughs> <laughs> you have to you have to stay in your house there's a virus outside you can't leave you're going to kill people if you leave your house so this is more of a this is more of a philosophical question. This is more of like, do you trust what the government is telling you? It's like, who do you trust, or why do you trust? Yeah. Them? Ah, 
hold on, they were not going all Illuminati on this. If you walk outside and you go down the street and you go into a hospital and you see everyone's infected, if if someone spoof or called me up on the phone and said, oh, there's a virus going around, I just fucking check the internet. What is the internet? But is the internet real anymore, Emma? Well, let me see. We can go on Google, so it is real, is it? <laughs> no, but like, is the, is the information that you're getting from the internet true? Like, because there's so many bots from China and Russia and everything distorting everything, like, is anything that you ever look up actually real or is it just information that somebody is putting there so that you, to make you think a certain way? Well, it depends. Like, if it's Wikipedia, I'm not going to trust it, but like, there's some sites out there that are like, Wikipedia is probably the most important. Going down this rabbit hole of fucking what exists and what doesn't exist, that's a lot. Jeff, and you know it is. What do you mean? It is bollocks. Like, well, no, there's the, there is merit in what Jeff is saying. As in, it's difficult to decipher what is the truth and what's not. Like, the truth is up for grabs more than ever. If you turn around to me and say, oh, there's a boy or two, and then I look in the news and the news is telling me there's a boy or two, I'm, like, and then I turn around and go, ha, 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 no, <laughs> these are calling the huge against me. Like, that's just called smoking way too much. Yeah, well, what if it's like you've only got two hours to make a decision? Two hours of shit me off. No, like someone calls you and they're like the bomb situation. It's like, yeah, I needed to do this. I don't have an explanation. I can't explain it right now. It's too complicated. You have to, like, let's say it's not a bomb. Let's say it's like, there's a button in your house. You don't know about it. I put it there in case of an emergency, right? You have to trust me. Just press the button. I'd probably press it. And then uh, it's, it's your fault, really. Shame on you. What's you the difference between it? that and the button on the bomb, Greg? <laughs> but if I didn't know it was going to like blow up, like I always kind of liked the, the concept of a red button anyway. And that, like, like, <laughs> if you know that, it's not, like, why would there be a red button though? Like, what could it be for? It's funny. Like, it's like, why are they asking me to detonate a bomb? But when I'm like, it's a red button, you're like, oh, I'm not gonna, even going to ask what it's for. <laughs> because oh, there's yeah, an I'll press that. <laughs> There's, a, there's definitely an uncertainty there. He likes the uncertainty of like doing things that don't, that the consequences aren't fully clear. <laughs> it's true. Like, this, this, it's absolutely Greg, definite, man. Greg, because morally, Greg, I would definitely you have not to do press it. Press this button, okay? You have to press this button. I can't explain. Go for it. Like you have to do it. If you just said it to me like what? that, without any, without any buildings or anything like that being destroyed, even if that was the motive. But how do you I, know? Even if you like. We detonate the bomb. How do you know? I'd probably just press it for you. I would. You would. Emmett? No, I'm not pushing no button, no. That's no. I'm not doing that. No, but see, the thing is, because I trust your judgment, Rachel, because I think I think your sound, like sound judgment. Uh, if you, you could know, trust her, she would have just called you up and said, here, there's a button in the gas that turns on the toaster or something. Just press it. Although I would have said, that's mad. I've been in this gas for years, and I, I never seen it. The turns on the toaster. <laughs> There's a button you don't know about that turns on the toaster. <laughs> <laughs> press it. No, what I'm trying to say is, if it was something that wasn't bad, if it was something that was just sound, and it wasn't bad and there wasn't an issue with it, then not, trust your friend that it was like for the greater good. Are you going to jump out the window? <laughs> no, I'm going to smoke. <laughs> um, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be trusting. No, what's? Uh, no, I wouldn't. This. This looks like a scene from fucking Oliver. <laughs> okay, Jeff, what about yourself now? So, if, if somebody said, there's a button in your gaff. No, it's Rachel. It's not even just someone. Okay, so if Rachel's rang me up and said, there's a button in the gaff, would you press it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I'd press it, yeah. I don't blame you either. Yeah. I it blew up something. Look, this is natural selection, lads. This is why oil stay alive to log it. How is this natural selection? It is natural selection. Well, maybe it is when you come to like who has the idiot genes and shit like that and the gullible genes, but no. But if you just don't press the button, then nothing's gonna happen. So we could, like the the, the, the word gonna... everything could work. end if you don't press the button. It could be a disaster. If I'm like, please, Emmett, you have to press the button. Trust me. There's more of a chance. There's more of a chance. It could be worse than the actual event of what possibly could happen. So what if it what if it was a bomb then? What if instead of a button, I was like, it's it's a bomb. You have to do this. I can't explain. What if Rachel? What if Rachel was about to actually let a bomb off, and by pressing the button, 
it prevented the bomb from going off. Yeah, well, I didn't know that. I wonder why the bomb. The bomb's not there, there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. I was like, what happened? Well, funny. Unless it's in the Oilac, then he gives a fuck if it's in the Oilac. Save your house. Maybe I'm detonate, detonating the bomb and the button is the only way to save yourself. Yeah, you know? and then the consequences are that you didn't trust your mate to push the button. Yeah. This That's is what you're thinking about. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not happy now. That's because we're, we're kind of doing it a little bit. I think there's indecision creeping in. What are you doing with me? What are you doing with me? You know, what? Press this button and see what and see what happens. I don't press the button. And nothing, nothing will happen or a bomb will go off. Man, yeah, who's there? Let it go off. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> but if you don't give a fuck, then so you may as well press it anyway and let it go off. If you're that oh, apathetic. I'm not going to press it. that apathetic. <laughs> and he's saying, I'm actually thinking now that he was right and that he isn't that really emotional and he is more rational because <laughs> he's like, I don't give a fuck. Let it go. Yeah. Oh God, you're in a mixed bag. The bombs don't go off by not pressing there, buttons. Lads. Remember that. Is there anyone who could ring you? Of course, bombs go off by not pressing buttons. If you're not pressing buttons, no bomb will go off. You can set a bomb to go off unless you don't press the button. No. <laughs> you can. You can. I'm sure it's possible. <laughs> you can. You can do the, with all the technological advances that we have. <laughs> I'd be like, I'd be like, I'm not up a bomb to to not go off unless you press a button. But with everything that that's happened, it, like, yeah, sure they didn't know. Bad. In like yeah. twenty years time, there'd be lads that would be coming into fucking when they were ever a bomb, and they won't be pressing button. They just be like, here, Siri, let one rip, boom. <laughs> what? Voice technology. That's how you get it without pressing a button. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that kind of floored me, I must admit. <laughs> or, you know, if you're not pressing a button, how else do you get the bomb to know that it has to detonate? Voice you recognition. How does the bomb know it has to detonate? It just gets, it's just two circuits that connect. It's just like, the button just starts it, but you don't need a button to start it. You can just connect two circuits. You need a button to stop it. The bomb's not know what else to do. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be intrigued. I'd at least hear, hear out the argument for a while, for the 20 minute period that I've I don't have any time to explain, Greg. I told you, there's no time to explain. Right, Raul, play with me. Go for it. You call me up on the phone. What? Right, I don't, I don't have any time to explain, right? You have to trust oh, God, me. I didn't answer. I didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> then you're off the hook, so. Hello? I oh, wouldn't be awake. <laughs> no, not the phone. I couldn't press the button. <sighs> <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> I was expecting anyone, the question. Is there anyone who could ring you that could convince you to do something without you question it? Is it a bob? Well, like they nah. just say you have to do this thing for me. I can't explain. You just have to go and do it. Nah. You're okay. alone. You said, leave me alone out of this. Oh, well, it'd be bad. Like, uh. Which, yeah, it, like, it's just too broad of a question, lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're comfortable there, Emma. Well, I can tell you, if my mum asked me to do it, I would unconditionally just do it straight away. Yeah, no, what about you, Emma? I mean, my care about me, she tell me what it is. This is fucking... Do well, she can't. She just has to say, Emma, you have to trust me. You have to detonate the bomb. She has enough time to pick up the phone and put my number in it and then call the number. She has enough time to say, here, will you press this button because the heating's off or something. If it was a bomb, she'd be like, you mean, no, it's not going to turn around and go, oh, this bomb's going to detonate. And if he doesn't press the button, then it's not going to detonate. Like, this is, no, I wouldn't press, no. No, press <laughs> You'd be like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing your bomb for you. I thought this. I thought this was going to be like, would you rather have fingers for toes or toes for fingers coming to the job? Like, I didn't think this was going to be done. Into that, yeah. Put finger up your ass, then rather than in the eye. Up the ass. <laughs> I think. I think we should. I think we should explore that. Emma, would you rather have fingers for toes or toes for fingers? Oh, and this is a good question. <laughs> fingers for toes, or toes for fingers. Well, I mean, that, that's asking the question, would you rather two sets of fingers or two sets of toes? That's really what the question is, yeah. That is. Yeah, I'd rather, 
I'd rather have two sets of fingers than toes. Easy. Because I can't then, play the guitar with my feet. I can't. <laughs> no. But then would you walk on all fours? Yeah, I'd worry about that when I kind of stood up. Yeah, but no. like, when you have fingers, it doesn't say that you have palms on your feet. You've still got your feet, but your toes are just really long like fingers. Yeah, like yeah. I, I wouldn't mind having two sets of hands. That would be kind of cool, and you could go around on all fours. But if it's your feet with fingers and all, that might be hard for balance, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think the workers are all weird and slender. Ah, oh, you'd adapt, like, I mean, I suppose we would, but I oh, definitely, I, I need I need my fingers, man. You could climb really well, like a chimpanzee or a monkey or something. Yeah. Because you could grip. With, with what? With, with too many toes? Or, or the you ever see the way the chimpanzees <laughs> walk? Like, when chimpanzees walk, they have that weird walk because they've got those fingers for toes. Yeah, like the Iggy Pop. They fucking go do a bit, bit of that. Shaving. Well, Shaving. here's actually interesting because we have derived from monkeys. So that means that at one point we actually did have fingers for toes and we never used them and we evolved. So the question now is, do you need fingers for toes? Well, it depends on what we evolved from I'm with you. I'm with you until the end. <laughs> elimination. Uh, what's it, the process of elimination? Have you ever had toes for fingers? Have you ever had fingers for toes? You have. It depends what what monkey you evolved from. Because we're chimpanzees, aren't we? We're like ninety six point something or other. Yeah, like very, very rational there, Greg. Yeah. But also the thing is, I don't know. Can you even ask that question in ways in it? Because we got to this point because it's almost that's what works best. Yeah. Which is what we at this point. Yeah, but that doesn't that doesn't eliminate the choice. Someone's making you choose. And it yeah. still doesn't mean should that bomb go off or not. <laughs> Is it just me, or does Emmett's screen there on the right-hand side kind of look like a really kind of nice version of a like a, a picture for I a gigolo? Emmett on my screen. <laughs> I was going to say he looks like a man from Love Hate. <laughs> Who needs? No, it was just the way, like, like, the light is shining on his face. It's like, yeah. it's kind of like that boudoir esque kind of. He's got his dressing gown on. There's semi pimp vibes going down, all right. There is definitely, yeah. I don't even know what to say to this. Let's, let's wrap it up here, right? Someone calls. They're like, you have to, have to, have to. It's your ma. It's your ma, right? Your ma calls. They're like, you have to do this. You have to detonate the bomb. I can't explain. I'll explain to you later. You just have to do this for me. Would you do it? Jeff? I'd, I'd, I'd call in and I'd be like, if my ma can like, dial in the numbers on my phone, she can tell me more about it. I think that's a good argument. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I'll do it, yeah. Damn it. I'm telling my mother to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>